Hey everyone, Techno Ninja here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix message notification sound not working on your iPhone. So let's get started. First thing you wanna make sure your phone is not on silent mode. So you may see an action button or a toggle here. You're gonna long press and hold. And if it's in silent mode, you may see this icon up here that looks like a bell. You're gonna press again until it says ring. So that's gonna be the first thing you wanna check out. The next thing you want to do is if you don't see it through there, you can also go into your setting and then from your setting here, you're going to look for sounds and haptics. And again, if you see silent mode turned on here, you need to turn that off just like that. Now along with that here, in the text tone here, you're going to ensure that it is selected to some one of this instead of none. So you're going to make sure default or any of these as long as it's not none because none will make sure there's no sound. So select something else besides none. So that's going to be another thing to check out. Now after you've checked that out, the next thing you're going to go ahead and check out is go back into your Bluetooth option in the setting. Make sure your phone isn't connected to external Bluetooth device. So you might be looking for sound from the phone. It might actually be routing there. So you may even turn this off just to make sure that fixes it. And if it does, you know it's a Bluetooth that's the issue. Now the next thing you want to go ahead and check out is in your setting, you're going to go to the actual notifications themselves and then you're going to look for the messages here now if this happened to be turned off you definitely want to turn this on as you'll want to allow notification and then along with that is going to be sound right here make sure that you have again one of these sounds selected instead of none so those are going to be other areas to check as well now the next thing you want to check out is going to be in the main settings here we're going to go ahead and check out basically focus mode. So you're gonna make sure you don't have a focus mode turned on. So if you were to have one turned on, for example, if I had this one turned on, I can either delete it or turn it off. You might also see that from the top menu or the bottom if you pull it up. If you see a focus mode like do not disturb turned on, it's gonna show it here. You're gonna go ahead and tap on it to turn it off and make sure none of them is turned on. It's gonna be another setting to check out. Now if you're still having the issue here with the messages, the next thing you're gonna do is just follow this quick step. You're gonna quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then hold down this side button. So I'm gonna do volume up, volume down, and then I hold down the side button, just like that. And we're gonna wait until the phone goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears before we let go of that side button. So as you can see, I'm holding out that side button just like that. Once I see the Apple logo, I let go. Again, all I did was quickly press and release volume up, volume down before holding down that side button, which basically forces the phone to completely shut down and reload the code without deleting any of your data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be on your phone, but a quick way to fix any issues that you may be having with your phone, like the notification sound. So as you can see here, it's still turning on, so it takes a minute or so. And once you turn back on, go ahead and check the next setting is going to be specifically for messages here. So if you are messaging someone, tap on that conversation and then tap on it and make sure you didn't accidentally have hide alerts. So you need to make sure that is turned off for each of the contact, especially if it's a one that you're not getting it, but you're getting from the other one. Now, along with that, the next thing you're going to do is in your settings, go to general software update and make sure you update the phone software as well. Sometimes the previous update might have caused issues. It's always good to update your phone. And with all of this, your phone message modifications should be working again. And I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.